In this video, we'll learn how to create ER diagrams from our Django models. Now, ER diagrams, this stands for Entity Relation Diagrams, and these are used to describe the structure and relationships that are in our databases. So, for example, we have different tables in the database and different relations between those tables or entities. This information can be depicted visually using an ER diagram, and we're going to see how to generate those diagrams in this video using a utility from the Django Extensions package. Now, if you're enjoying this content, give the video a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to the channel for more Django and related content. Let's dive in. Now, let's start by very briefly looking at what an entity relationship diagram actually is. And to do that, I'm going to use this page from Lucid Chart, and I'll link this below the video. We have a content section here, and we're just going to look at the top section. What is an ER diagram? Now, the ER stands for Entity Relationship. And this is a type of flowchart that illustrates how entities such as people, objects or concepts relate to each other within a system. And ER diagrams are most often used to design or debug relational databases. Now if we look at the diagram below, we have a set of entities in this diagram and each entity has its own square or rectangle here. And these entities map to database tables that you have in your database. So for example, we have a table here called Hockey Team, and we also, in this Entity Relation Diagram, get some information about the fields that are in that table. So for example, that table has an ID, name, and a logo column. And what the ER Diagram also does is it gives us information about the relations between different entities. So a Hockey Team here is linked to a Hockey Game, and that would be done through one of the IDs here for the Team ID. So the hockey game would have a reference to two teams that are in the database, and that would be a foreign key to the hockey team table. So in an entity relation diagram, we get information about the entities or the tables. We also get information about the fields that are in that table, and sometimes you can also see the data types for those fields. And finally, we get information about the relations between entities, and whether that's a one-to-one -one relationship, or a one-to-many, or potentially a many-to-many. Now the question is, how do we generate something like that using Django? I'm going to open VS Code, and this is the project we've been working on in this series. We don't need to know anything about the previous videos, we're just going to look at these models, and we're going to generate the graph based on that model. We're going to generate the ER diagram. So what I want to highlight is that we're in the models.py file, and the application here is called Core. And the main models in this application, we had a restaurant model, and then we had some other models that are linked to the restaurant. For example, a staff model that has a many-to-many -many relation to the restaurants. And that many-to-many -many relation is done through this Django model here called staff restaurant. We also have a rating model, and that contains a foreign key to both the restaurant and user table. And in Django, those are represented with models.foreignKey. And if we go down, we have also a sale model, which also has some foreign keys, or rather one foreign key to the restaurant table. And we had some additional models below for one video we did. We're not going to look at those in this video, though. What I want to do now is I want to generate an entity relation diagram from this models.py file. And we want that diagram to capture all of the entities here, for example, sale, and then all of the fields on that entity, for example, restaurant income, expenditure, and date time. And we want this to give a visual depiction of the relationships between the entities. So for the sale, we want to see that it's linked to the restaurant. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to use Django extensions. And there's a command in particular that we're going to use from that package. So I'm going to open the documentation for Django extensions. And I'll leave a link to this below the video. And what we're looking at here is the command extensions. So Django extensions ships with a lot of different commands. And we've seen some of these in this series. For example, the shell plus command is a very useful one for getting an interactive Django shell that already contains a lot of useful components preloaded. What we're going to look at in this video, if we scroll down here, is one called graph models. So I'm going to click this and go to the documentation for the graph models command. And I'm going to make the text a bit bigger here so we can see this. Now graph models, what it's going to do when you run this command, it's going to render a graphical overview of your project or specified applications. And this command is going to create what's called a graphviz dot file. And that dot file is going to contain code. And that's in a particular language or format that can describe a graph based system. Now a graph in computer science is a way to structure or organize components into nodes that are connected by edges. If we go back to the ER diagram on Lucid Charts, we can see this kind of representation here. You can imagine the entity as a node and there are edges or links between those nodes. So let's go back to Django extensions. We're going to generate this dot file and we're going to do that with this graph models command. Now if we scroll down, you can select a library that's going to generate the image. 
and there are a couple of these by default. We have one called PyGraphViz, and we also have one below that called PyDot. Now be aware that some of these might need C extensions, but what we can do instead, if we don't want to install those packages, is we can just run the command, the graph models command, and that's gonna generate a dot file that we can output to a file and then copy into what's called a graphviz generator. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom here and there's a section here on example usage. And what you can do is you can run the manage.py graph models command and you can send the outputted code to a file. And that's what we're going to do now. So let's open up VS Code and I'm gonna make the terminal bigger here. And we're gonna run that command. So it's python manage.py and it's the Django extensions graph models command. And we need to specify the name of the application that we want to generate the ER diagram for. And that was the core application that we can see here on the left hand side. And we're gonna send that output to a file. And let's call that file models. Dot, and we'll give it an extension of dot. So that's a models. Dot, dot file. And if we go to that file, we can see what's been generated. And we have a particular language here. I'm not sure if it's a language or what exactly this is, but it's a file of type dot file. And what we can do is we can just copy this code and I'm gonna to go to a website that allows us to take this dot file and generate an image of the graph, in this case an ER diagram, from the code that's been generated here. So I'm gonna go back to the browser and we're on a website here that I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. And this is a website that takes this dot file code and it generates an image on the right hand side based on the code. So I'm gonna remove what we have here and I'm just gonna paste in the code that we got back from the graph models command. On the right hand side, you can see that we now have an ER diagram for the models in the core application. So let's go into this diagram and explore what we have a little bit. So we have our restaurant model and we can see all of the fields that are on that model. For example, the ID, the capacity and so on. And we also get the data types for those fields. And if we look up here, we have the sale model and we can see there's a connection, a relation between those two entities. So the sale model here has a foreign key to the restaurant and one restaurant can have many sales. And that relationship is captured by this arrow here. And actually it's not an arrow, it's just a particular notation for a one-to-many relationship. And that encodes the relations between different tables that we have in the database. And we can see as well, we had a restaurant many-to-many -many relation to a staff table. And we have the junction table here that connects the two. And we can see the foreign keys here for the restaurant and also for the staff. And if we go to the right hand side, we can see as well that we have a rating model that's connected to the restaurant and also to the user. Now the user doesn't have the information about the fields. And the reason for that is because the user model in Django is part of Django's auth package. And we did not specify that when we ran the graph models command. What I'm gonna do now is go back to the terminal and I'm gonna bring back the command that we ran before, but as well as the core application, I'm gonna pass in Django's auth package. And what I should say is this is the auth application in a Django project. And what we're gonna do is rerun graph models and it's gonna regenerate this dot file. And again, we can then copy that code, go back to our browser and paste that into the left-hand side here. And it's gonna generate a new ER diagram. And we can see that the details for the user model have been filled in and the rating is still linked to that model, but we get extra information about the user. And we can also see which tables or which models the Django user model is connected to. For example, it's connected to the group model and the permission model. Now this is very useful for developers if they are working on a new project and they want to get a visual depiction of the database, they can look at these ER diagrams and you can instantly see what tables are in the database and the connections between those tables. And the good thing is, if you have documentation in your project, you can export these ER diagrams to various formats. So we have things like SVG and PNG here. What we can do is select one of those and just download the image. And you can then paste that into your documentation for other developers, put it on a GitHub README or whatever you would like. And that's the main things that we need to see here from the Django extensions graph models command. It's not particularly complicated, but it's very useful. So if you have a project with lots of models and you want a diagram like this, it's just a matter of running one command and you get this dot file that you can then paste into a generator such as this one. Now there are a couple of extra things to show here. If we go back to the documentation, one thing is the settings. Now Django extensions provides a setting called graph models. And if you add that to settings.py, you can specify some options for the command. And one example would be the all applications option. If you set that to true, it's gonna generate an ER diagram for every single application in your project. 
That's one example. And another example here is the app labels. So if you have a specific list of applications, you can provide a list to that key and it's gonna generate the ER diagram only for the models that are in those applications. So that would be a way to replace what we did here. Instead of specifying core and auth in the command line itself, we could create the setting here and pass those applications into this app labels key and it's gonna do that automatically. Now lastly, if we scroll down to the example usage, I'm gonna highlight a couple of extra configuration options that you can pass to the command. So if you want to only include certain models, you can pass a dash i parameter and then comma separate the models that you want to generate an ER diagram for. And on the other hand, if you want to exclude certain models, you can pass the dash x option and any models that you pass here will not be included in the resulting ER diagram. And there's a couple of extra configurations here that we can pass. For example, if you want to hide the edges in the ER diagram, you can pass this option. And you can also change the arrow shape and some of the colors in the diagram by passing those options. But the main takeaway from the video is that if you have models in a Django application, such as this one here, it's very simple if you're using Django extensions to generate an ER diagram for those models. We just run the graph models command, we output the code to a dot file, and then we can paste that into a generator such as this one here in order to get the ER diagram. So that's all for this video. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And if you're enjoying this content, consider buying the channel a coffee as well. We've got a link in the description for that. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.